Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Aries. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is, and it really is all about the eclipses. Eclipses to me are of prime importance. They ultimately align you with a higher, more loving vision for your life. They align you with the deepest desires of the soul because they intimately involve the nodes. And it is the nodes of the moon now that are being activated in ways that are truly rare for many reasons. But let's start with the first eclipse that happens uh, right around the second of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. So this is energy we're feeling as we start the month. And this eclipse is happening at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky. This eclipse will stand across the sky from Saturn and speak in supreme harmony with Neptune. This is very quick, inspired changes that can happen on the home front, whether it is with buying, selling, moving, new roommate, or whether it is having to do with uh, you having a deeper appreciation of what home is for you. For some, it may feel as if your relationship with your family of origin and your parents in particular come into focus at this time. Now, the thing is, that connection with Neptune, that is beautiful. It is inspired. It is magical. And that tells me that there is uh, forgiveness and healing and possibility and a sense that things can change very quickly in a way that you truly love, in a way that feels as if you are guided by a higher, more loving hand. But it's that connection with Saturn that is also interesting because that suggests necessity, responsibility, obligation, and also sometimes can express restriction. There may be a part of you as things are changing that might have mixed feelings about it. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe it feels as if this change has to happen whether or not you like it, that it's being in some way forced on you. But whether you see it immediately or soon after, you will see the benefit. You will see how it is that you understanding home differently, whether that's literally or within yourself, within your soul and your psyche, can actually end up being a really great thing, can actually end up being exactly what it is that you need for this next step of your soul's growth and evolution. And this could be exactly what it is that you need to open up a whole world of possibilities for yourself. An opening of inspiration and creativity can find you as a result of what it is that changes now. When it's an eclipse, it very often is karmic. It is about what is showing up because it is time. And so it can feel as if some higher will has swept in to change certain alignments, to change certain areas of your life. And so yes, your understanding of your past, your understanding of home may go through an evolution at this time, regardless of what you feel about it, and regardless of whether or not you're choosing it. But the end result is one of your supreme liking. It is one that is gonna put you on a path of greater connection to yourself and to some sacred truth within you, allowing you to express it that much more easily. Now, as we navigate two weeks later, we are going to have the lunar eclipse uh, taking place. Now, this is very powerful as well. This eclipse is happening close in the sky with Saturn and Pluto. Both of these planets hanging out mighty close to the south node. Eclipses often include the nodes as we have the case here. And what is also happening is a harmonious connection with Neptune. But the thing is, when you have such strong energies hand in hand with a lunar eclipse like Saturn and Pluto, that is by far going to be the more dominant energy. And this really is things transforming profoundly and deeply. This is karmic closures that are set to take place. And for you, this is happening at the very top of your sky, a part of the sky connected to life purpose, career, social standing. It has to do with understanding destiny and the highest that you aspire to go, the legacy that you are creating for yourself. This is a major realignment that is set to take place for a lot of Aries out there. 
For some, it is going to feel as if a pathway opens that you can dedicate yourself to fully and completely. A sense of focus on a singular direction can happen now that can help you to accelerate your pathway upward. But for others, this is going to represent some change, some transformation that may not be easy, that might even feel as if you wish things weren't changing in this way. Regardless of how you feel about these changes, the thing is that Neptune harmonious connection, it is inspired, it is hopeful, it is one where there are actions you can take to move yourself in a positive direction. And this is, for some, a realignment of legacy, a sense of how far off you might have gone and now are being brought back to it. And as part of that, sometimes you have to allow closures to take place as you choose a higher, more loving vision for your life. But the great thing is that as you stay open to that possibility, well, the blessings start to find you very quickly. Where it comes to matters of love, it really is all about the Mercury retrograde season that is going to take place. The first three weeks of this month is when Mercury will be moving through the sign of Leo. That is a part of the sky for you that has to do with romance and flirtation and what the heart truly desires. About a week into the month is when Mercury will officially go retrograde in this part of the sky. The main thing to remember here is that breakups that happen uh, during a Mercury retrograde in this part of the sky tend to not stay broken up. Where it is that you are uh, looking at a particular situation a certain way, really positively or not so much so, well, once we get you into August, you may see that situation of heart very differently. So important to stay open and patience goes a very long way with a month like this. For those of you open to meeting someone new, well, look, that's very possible uh, when I look at the sky. But you may uh, realize once we navigate further uh, into the summer that what you thought this person was about or how you felt about this person, well, you may feel differently once we navigate into August. And so, of course, it's always up to you to decide what's right for you in light of your unique circumstances. But yes, it is very possible. Sometimes these things work out to be even better. For those of you who are uh, just starting to date someone, this is very powerful energy in that regard. And again, if it is that a breakup happens during this time, it tends not to stay broken up. So that's something to keep in mind, but miscommunication becomes that much more possible with a month like this. And those of you in an established bond, it can feel as if you're wanting to connect with your partner a little bit more often or a little bit more romantically than is coming together as easily. No worries there. As we navigate to the very end of the month, Venus is gonna move into this part of the sky. It is going to be at the very, very beginning of next month that we're going to have a new moon in this part of the sky as well. So if it feels like there are some you know, wires crossed or some sense of wanting plans to come together but they're not don't give it too much energy know that things will find uh, their smooth sailing very soon what I love about this month for you well I am going to say that first eclipse I love the way it is speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune I feel like that energy is inspired it is hopeful it reminds us of all the things that are possible when we are at home with ourselves for you in particular, it can feel as if home is a changing space and a changing definition right about now, but that's also part of the fun and part of the excitement. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month, enjoy.